Hey, brothers and sisters, what's up? This is the Reluctant Nabi back again. News and views, views on the news. Documenting the just trifling descent into just utter destruction of the black community. At the same time, looking to the hope of the rise of the Afro community. All right, see, there's no matriarchy in the Afro community. It is understood in the Afro community that there is the role of the man and the role of the woman. It has always been a case before the black woman decided that they wanted to side with the Caucasian man and a white woman. And part of the problem that they did that because they over valued their relationship as it pertained to the Afro man because of how the Afro man used to treat them with respect. They was like, oh, wow, we could get more out of this. But the Afro man always understood that the role of the woman in the role of the woman was as important as the role of the man in the role of a man. At any point, if either jumped out of their role, they became less important to the community. So, what happened? The BAW decided to decide with every evil, evil campaign against the Afro male. Because if you want to destroy a community, you get rid of the strong man. That would be the good Afro male. You see power to the female and take everything out of balance. And now you got this joke of a show, Black Girls Rock. Well, let's show you how black girls rock for real in the so-called black community. All right, but first let me um, greet everybody real quick. Havorton, Hardu, Gudak, Ola, Oi, to the Bay, Vastas Los, Bonjour, Mesmi, Kedu, Bawani, Konnichiwa. Niao niama, sani bonani, jambo habarigani, assalamu alaikum and shalom. We want to look at something here. The other prong in the power of the black woman to just do vast amount of wickedness and maliciousness against the Afro community comes from the simps. Yes, I said the simps. Who are the simps? The simps are a group of black males who are too stupid to identify with something other than a color, who runs around caping for the woman because she has a coochie, thinking that because the black woman has a coochie, she's got like no other woman that's called a woman has a coochie. All right, they can't think critically or at all. Well, who created them? Yeah, their mama black. And this is the disgusting wickedness that the black woman has brought in to the nation as well as the community. All right, and their white daddy going to have to deal with it. Because the brothers, we getting ghosts. Believe that. All right. So I was sent this by Demetrius Jones. Um, he, and, and what I liked about what I like about the way he did it, he actually sent me the news article, not somebody else's video. All right. So. Um, this was a news article off of MSM.com. All right. And now we'll put the link in the description box. All right. But one of the things is, I think some of the people, when they looked at this, they looked, the title says, All 
by at first the, there was a lack of understanding with the i believe with the brother he says um cops don't think she shot her child's foster mom but they're still charging her we'll get into that in a minute but first let me remind you let's get those thumbs up to donate my um uh, donation link will be in the description box remember take care of family first take care of yourself then if you have an abundance hey send it here you know we put we do good work for those that actually follow the channel and listen to the channel y'all know i'm telling the truth about all these things yes i said all these things y'all know i'm telling the truth and you know that my opinion that i have based on these news stories are laden with truth or laced with truth i should say no laden with truth it's just true and you know it right like share subscribe when you subscribe click the bell when you click the bell if they're drop down menu comes up click off all right so let's get an understanding all right let's get an understanding all right now i think this is what the what some of the guys was concerned about cops don't think she shot her children's foster mom but they're still charging her all right there's a reason why for them charging her all right and the reason for them charging her is this as we go um into the story you find out that even though she may have not been it been the one shooting she was able to get a simp to do it for her all right this woman has a history all right and her name is candy johnson a black woman her mama black that's been abusing her children been in like a lot of just you know a lot of slaps on the wrist like why because black women get that slaps on the wrist all right but this time they're charging her because they knew she went and got some nasty simp to do her dirty work for her what was the dirty work okay it goes on to say according to msnbc.com miami resident candy justice remained in uh, miami dade county jail on no bond charged with attempted first degree murder murder following friday shooting of johnson's um children foster mother all right but miami dade cops don't think johnson pulled the trigger so it isn't that they think she's innocent or didn't have anything to do with it they think she had an accomplice and got him to pull the trigger because you know these women because they got a coochie are always able to get a simp to do some evil against another afro person and then they run around in these hotel groups talking about how that they want black unity and and how the black woman is god and 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 all it is and black love and stuff this is their version of it in that they have none whatever the black woman wants them to do they'll do no matter how evil and wicked they are she can always find a simp to do the wickedness right the narrative on johnson's arrest affidavit which uh, miami Dade uh, police released monday says a friend who johnson brought with her to winnie esmond house friday shot the 77 year old several times as they fought over johnson's two children who have been placed with edmund every remains in jackson south hospital in stable condition since friday night the friend who remains at large is described by police a thin black male who wore a black shirt or as we would know it a simp and this is what simps do they are so controlled by the baw that they'll do her bidding 
no matter how wicked it is. All right. Now, she had a five-year-old child and a 20-month-year-old child. Now, the, what they say is they're the ones that was with Edmund, so she has more. They were found with Johnson at her home. She has twin two-year-olds elsewhere. All right, she's facing attempted first-degree murder, two counts of kidnapping and burglary. Now, understand this. There is some history with this woman. And I want y'all to watch this real quick. She had a eight, four years, eight months stint in prison for child abuse and fleeing law enforcement without regards to safety before being released in August. She has child neglect but that child was not prosecuted. She put, pulled a gun on a CPS worker, or they call it defect, well, Department of Children and Family Worker. Um, this woman has a history of heinous things. She didn't have her parental rights terminated until July the 20th of this year. What, what happened is this, she went, got some little thug simp, right? And these are the people, these people are willing to the, um, defend these thug simps. She went and got this thug simp who goes and shoots a 77-year-old seven, lady. That's what's wrong with these simps. These black women could get these simps to do anything for them, and they'll think they hood and tough because the woman is 77, unarmed. But these are the same people that want to march when the police shoot an unarmed Afro man. And I have a problem with that too. I am glad that Kaepernick took the risk of his career and made a stand. I'm glad he got the Nike endorsement. I'm looking at all the butt hurt Caucasians. All right. But I also understand why people have no respect for any kind of melanated man when the black woman can get a bunch of them to do some mess like this. Now, check this out in court. You're not to contact any of the victims in person, in writing, or by telephone, or through social media. You cannot call them from jail. You cannot have any third person call any of the victims on your behalf. If for any reason, don't you think she's dead right now? I mean, look at her, right? This is the woman that was able to get some young thug that think he all good, hard and stuff to go sh shoot an unarmed 77 year old lady. In the future, you're given a bond. You must stay at least 500 feet away from all three victims. Can I see that you're really looking aggravating. So you talk. I understand. You just stay completely away from all of the three victims' homes. I'm glad you're looking up and you're addressing the court. This means you're able to hear me. Stay completely away. So this is done by video. All right, this is done by video. From all of the victims and the victims' employment and the school. And they weren't having none of what she had to say. All right, and, and she just did, wouldn't stop rambling. Think about it. This is an entitled class. 
Look at it again. You're not to contact any of the victims in person, in writing, or by telephone, or through social media. You cannot call them from jail. You cannot have any third person call any of the victims on your behalf. If for any reason in the future you're given a bond, you must stay at least 500 feet away from all three victims. You I see that you're really looking aggravating. at you. So you talk. I understand. You just stay completely away from all of the three victims' homes. I'm glad you're looking up and you're addressing the court. This means you're able to hear me. Stay completely away from all of the victims and the victims' employment and the school. Notice how they cut her mic. I don't know what she can't believe, but I believe they weren't going to hear much more of that. You're not to. All right. Now I want y'all to think about this. This woman was able to get a dude just because he got the stick. to go shoot a 77 year old lady who's now running like a weak minded simp that he is she got this woman is the one that got somebody to shoot a 77 year old lady knowing that she abuses children this is the problem these women power are coming from the system but they are being enabled by these simps who are just a blight on the community these weak-minded dudes that talk about oh man this is a dark-skinned pretty mute woman i can't see what the problem is and I'm thinking, boy, how much of a sip, disgusting piece of trash is that that will throw away all the problems of the community because of how the black woman look? Think about that. That's that's worse than thirst. That's another level of stupidity and depravity with any man that thinks like that. Because she has a big booty, she's she's God. That oh we we can't don't judge don't judge when we're supposed to because we're the men, we are the son of man. Yeah, according to Ezekiel, we're supposed to judge. All this weak stuff that these women got these stupid Negroes following. These are the same ones making it difficult for us Afro-Indigenous, the Afro-Indigenous melanated. These guys are always the bane of our existence. Why? Because no matter how close these thoughts get to these walls, these simps will be right behind them to run right into the wall not only with them but for them but guess what my final thoughts for the vinyl thoughts you're still going to hit that wall and you're going to hit that wall without the man you need or want a lot of these women threw guys to the curb and kicked them to the curb wouldn't listen to them those that really wanted to love them really wanted to promote the growth within the community and no matter how hard the guys tried to speak wisdom to these women, they still want to do their own thing. Find themselves, as they say. And the more they try to find just themselves by themselves, the worse they are for themselves. But they can't see that. Well, because they're the BAW. Like I said, we need to leave them alone with their sense because they ain't nothing but trouble. And when that wall of justice hit, the Simpsons is going to fill it too. With that said, I'm out.